I'm Martha DeGrasse with RCR Wireless, and I'm here with Andy Germano. He is VP of Business Development for BEC Technologies. Andy, thanks for making the time today. My pleasure. Thank you, Martha. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So you were telling me a little bit about how BEC is a nice fit for the regional operators here at the CCA Expo. You're obviously a little bit smaller than some of the big players in the router market, and uh, some of these carriers are a little bit smaller than some of the big buyers. So tell sure. me a little bit about how um, you've evolved with these carriers as they've made the move to LTE. Yeah, BEC's been in the uh, router market for 20 years. We just celebrated our 40th anniversary as a company last year in 2013. And our business strategy really is to cater to the, uh, to the regional operators to provide that high level of touch, high level of uh, customer service. We're headquartered right here in Plano, Texas, so we have the ability to cover all the time zones in the country, and the operators really like that. They really like the service and support they get from BEC. Okay, great. Well, uh, I know that uh, LTE has made a big difference to your pro difference to your product lineup. Do you want to um, explain a little bit about how you've evolved and maybe show us a couple of the routers that you're displaying here? Sure. Yeah, that's great. So the first uh, LTE product we have is based on our 20 years of uh, router experience uh, in the um, in the wireline router business. A lot of our customers started out in wireline and they've evolved into wireless and they wanted to round out their uh, internet service provider ISP coverage areas. So we've taken all that great technology, whether it's parental controls or security firewalls that are built into our, our, uh, our router and our gateway technology, and we're using LTE as the backhaul. So what we've done is we've invested heavily in the antenna technology. This is our SX7 antenna technology. And what that allows operators to do is to connect further it also allows them to get better signal strength in buildings, so there's less truck rolls. Less tr truck rolls is lower cost of ownership uh, for the, the, the mobile operators. So the other thing that's really important about the antenna technology is spectrum utilization. The better connection that you have from the gateway to the E node B or the base station means you can have more paying customers on your network and serving them more efficiently. So the antenna technology that we've invested is something that our customers really like about the BEC router. Yeah, making use of that spectrum is really important to these carriers, I know. And can we take a look at the one that's tailored for the first responder market? Sure, yeah, that'd be great. So we just came out with our new uh, Band 14 FirstNet uh, unit. This also supports uh, multi-band, uh, Band 13, Band 17. So it's got all the connections for the police car, ambulance, uh, safety vehicle, even uh, looking at using these on school buses for kids that have a long commute time. Some of the kids have over an hour, hour and a half commute time. and They, so they can be do on, their homework on the they bus. They can do their homework on the bus. And so there's a lot of connectivity. It's a ruggedized uh, unit. It's designed for machine-to-machine -machine type operations. It's got things like GPS included, and it's also got our high-gain SX7 antenna technology. So do you, do you work with, uh, for example, with the school bus, up, do you work with some of the um, funding sources for that? Like, do you work with, with school districts and try to, try to help some of these customers? Um, uh, BEC hasn't really done a reach through, not really a B2C. Uh, we've really done, uh, you know, um, B2B with the, with the telco customers. So we do a lot of catering to the telco customers. We do custom firmware, we do logos. If they want to have their logo on the box, we'll do a lot of customization, but generally we don't necessarily do all the direct uh, pull through with the school systems or with the businesses in their market. But what we do is uh, really enable a product that has all the features they need to be the most successful. In fact, we were just talking to one of the customers uh, yesterday that was saying uh, one of the features we have on our box is uh, automatic failover. So if they have a wireline network to say a bank or a police station, and if there's a problem with the wireline network, it automatically fails over to the wireless. So that's something that they're actually creating a service around that in Alaska, going after that market. It's something they can offer to their customers. Yeah, that's that's really interesting. And that's uh, I was hearing about something similar with with 911 as it moves like toward Volte, it has to fall right back to that wireline when when exactly. it needs to. Okay, well let's let's talk just a little bit about um, the the rugged outdoor one that you were showing me sure. earlier. Yeah, this is a really exciting product. Uh, we just announced we're actually shipping these in volume now. So this is an IP67 compliant. It's very lightweight. It's a nice uh, form factor. Some of the other form factors on the market are bigger and it you know, has more wind loading. This is something that you want to put outdoors on a pole, a nice uh, pole that you probably already have in place from uh, a previous generation equipment. It's got uh, two by two MIMO antenna. So again, we've optimized the antenna. Uh, technology based on the band that you're operating in, whether it's band 12, band 17, AWS. We support a number of different bands. We even have a, uh, a TDD LTE version in band 41. Uh, so we've got uh, multiple uh, capabilities and it's, it has a SIM card and it's power over ethernet. So one connection into the house. 
um, that you have on here. So it's something that we've really listened to the customers. We went out last year, we asked the customers, you know, what are your requirements, what do you want to see in a box like this, and we're getting really great feedback, they love it. And how much updating can be done remotely in something like this? Yeah, we support uh, full remote updating, so as I mentioned, we've been involved in the router business for uh, 20 years, and uh, we've, been, we've been here in the U.S. for the last 10 years, so it's a, a definite requirement for our customers to be able to not have a truck roll, to be able to support their customers over the phone and try to fix as much as they can remotely. And even simple things like firmware updating when they want to update, add new features. So all of our boxes that we talked about, all of our devices support remote management, remote updating securely from the Telco Central Office. Okay, great. So last question, uh, obviously, you know, there is a lot, a lot of competition and a lot of really innovation in, in routers. It's not, I mean, it's not a sleepy business anymore. Yes. So, um, you know, what's your, what's your plan? Yeah, so the plan for the future, I mean, we heard a lot of talk today about uh, Volte is a big feature. So we have our, our box here that's running uh, today via IP. And this is a big market for a lot of our customers to provide voice capability. It's a whole new revenue stream. You know, if they can charge $40 to $60 a month for internet service, they can charge another you know, amount per month to provide voice. There's also federal funding available for voice. There's a lot of interest in voice capabilities. So we see that as a future. Some of the other evolution we're seeing in the industry, it's funny you mentioned, like LTE uh, is a very fast moving industry. So we started out with band 13, band 17, band 12, band 41, TDD, FDD. So we've got all these flavors, all these bands that we have to support. But now as we're evolving already from LTE to LTE advanced, we're starting to see features like carrier aggregation. So now, you know, with single carrier, you're supporting 100 megabits downlink, 50 megabits uplink. You start to aggregate carriers. Now you have much higher speeds capable. So probably those are the two main areas we're seeing is uh, the uh, voice over LTE as well as the carrier aggregation as big features impacting the uh, fixed wireless market.